Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here today. My name is Anna and in today's video I'm going to be doing uh, a little bit of spring cleaning. Um, I really get my appliances all cleaned up and then I'm just going to be doing some random projects around the house that I've been kind of avoiding and I just took, took some time out of my day to get those projects done. But first, I'm going to start off by cleaning up the kitchen a little bit and getting everything put away so I have a clean uh, space to work on when I go to clean out my fridge. And I do want to apologize for the lighting. We had a really bad storm on this day when I was deep cleaning my appliances. So you'll notice in some of the clips, like right now, it's lighter, then it'll get darker again. And um, we just had a really big rain and wind storm. So that's why the lighting is uh, kind of funky in the first half of this video. I start by cleaning my oven first because I knew I wanted to let that sit for as long as possible and I spray it down with Dawn Power Wash and then I wrap up the oven in saran wrap and I let that sit there for you know I think I had it sitting there for probably a good three hours before I wiped it all up. I should have used a better degreaser something that was just had a bit more you know <laughs> chemicals and something that was much stronger than dawn um, it didn't get everything off i did have to scrub um, quite a bit when i took the saran wrap off um, but at the end of the day i got my oven cleaned and it looks really good um, I don't know if you've guys seen this method, but I first saw this method probably about four years ago, maybe. Um, from she's a YouTuber from Finland, and she her name is Ari uh, Ari Katarina. She's a professional cleaner that cleans hoarded homes and just really really dirty homes and this is how she cleans ovens and stovetops and it works really well especially if you have a really dirty and grimy oven so I wrap up my oven and I let that sit there while I clean the rest of my appliances and um, I clean the dishwasher next because I wanted to run that on a cleaning cycle while I clean the fridge. So I just empty out the dishes and then I again use my Dawn Power Wash to clean the to clean the dishwasher and then I run a the longest hottest cycle I have on my dishwasher with a cleaning tablet and you guys will see that here in just a bit. So here I am pulling my dishwasher filter and it wasn't too bad this time around. I think I probably cleaned my dishwasher filter probably about four or five months ago so it wasn't too bad. But I pulled um, everything out that I could take apart um, and I gave that a good wash. I didn't want to take 
you know, everything off and then not be able to put it back together again. But whatever came off easily, I took it off and then I washed it. And then I just go back to cleaning the dishwasher get all of the the grime off of it there was quite a bit of grime in between the door and the bottom part of the dishwasher itself it was pretty grimy there i don't know how it gets so dirty there i cleaned the filter by just spraying it down with dawn and then i am just gonna let it sit in a bowl of super hot water while i finish cleaning my dishwasher When I typically deep clean my fridge, I usually pull everything out, pull all the shelves out, wash it with, you know, just hot soapy water and then put everything back in. I didn't do that this time around only because I didn't want to. I did go in and I sprayed it down with Dawn Power Wash and I wiped it up and um, I did pull a couple of drawers out on the doors because they were pretty... Uh, they were pretty gross. They had some something stuck on the bottom of them. But other than that, I, you know, just kind of wiped the shelves and wiped the walls and um, got rid of a lot of expired food, uh, which I hate throwing away ex food. And we do typically try to eat what we have in the fridge before I go grocery shopping. But we have been traveling quite a bit the last couple of weeks, seeing family and just um, being out of town for, uh, you know, a day here and a day there. So a lot of the food that was in the fridge was expired and I had to throw that out. Let me know down below if you guys hate cleaning out your fridge, but I dislike cleaning out the fridge with a burning passion. I would rather scrub all my toilets <laughs> like 10 times before I'd go and clean out the fridge because growing up, my mom would have my sisters and I deep clean the fridge every single Saturday night. And it just, um, yeah, it definitely made an impression on me. And to this day, I don't like cleaning out my fridge. If I have to be completely honest, I probably clean out my fridge maybe four times a year if I'm really good. Um, but I try to wipe up any spills as soon as I see them so they don't get all, you know, gross and sticky. 
So, you know, that helps. But yeah, cleaning out the fridge, I don't, I don't like it. I would rather do anything else than cleaning out the fridge. So this is all of the stuff that I pulled out of the fridge and um, you'll see me tossing a lot of it and like I said I hate throwing out food but a lot of it was expired and um, just needed to go. So I put a couple of containers in my fridge just to kind of organize it a little bit because I had yogurts floating around and Henry's smoothies were floating around in a drawer and I just kind of contained all of the small yogurt drinks um, in the in the the clear plastic bins. Um, I love watching refrigerator restock videos, but I don't think I will ever have an aesthetically pleasing fridge. Um, I am not all about that lifestyle, and if you are, that's good on you. So once I am done with the fridge, I go back and peel all the saran wrap off of the oven. And you can tell um, some of the spots, the really hard uh, grime spots, I don't know what else you would call them, they did not come up. And I do go in with Barkeeper's Friend to kind of, um, to clean up a lot of it. I think if I used like a 409 degreaser or um, something a little more heavy duty, all of the stuff would have come up without any issues. But you know what, that's okay. Like I said, my oven is now clean and that's all that matters. But yeah, let me know down below if you guys ever used this method before and if you have, what do you guys think of it? I swear by this method to clean tough and like stuck on grime that just does not come off. If you could leave it, um, like spray it down with like easy off oven cleaner or um, like I said, a heavy duty degreaser and cover it with saran wrap and leave it overnight, it would definitely clean up your oven really really well. I do go in with the microfiber cloth several times to clean up all of the uh, the barkeeper friend um, residue. I, I've i noticed that it can be a little hard to f get that all removed. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But um, I had to go in several times with a clean microfiber cloth to get all of that powder off of my oven, um, the floor and the walls. And then I go in with um, paper towels, just wet paper towels to really get it all, uh, get all that residue off of the oven but at the end of the day i have a really clean oven
It's a couple of days later and we had a beautiful sunny day with no wind, which is rare where I live. And I decided to clean my glass railing, get that all ready for the summer. It's hard to tell in these shots just how dirty these railings were, but a lot of them were covered in algae and they're just really dirty. So I wanted to get out here and get that cleaned. I'm just using soapy water and um, and then I go in after I'm all done with that I go in with a bucket of just clean water and wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. I live right on the ocean and as beautiful as it is it is a lot of work keeping up with the maintenance of your house on the outside. Um, we get a lot of strong winds and in the fall and winter times we've had windstorms that I thought for sure our house was going to blow away. Um, last windstorm we had was probably in the beginning of the year and it got up to 65 miles an hour and um, it was pretty scary not gonna lie we had to get everything I think that was outside we put it inside the garage so we wouldn't lose it and um, that's why we don't really even have any kind of furniture up on this deck because of the winds um, we just don't want to risk the furniture being blown around and either breaking the glass railing or the sliding doors that lead out to this deck but it is beautiful where we live and um you know the beach is just a quick five minute walk and henry and i go there quite a bit so you know it has its benefits but it definitely is a lot of work living right on the ocean so if you're considering a beach house you know just something to think about it's lots and lots of maintenance Once I get the railing all nice and clean and ready to go for the summer, I go back inside and I am going to spray my hinges on my bedroom door and bathroom door with some WD-40. They are pretty squeaky. Why I waited two years to do this, I don't know. I couldn't tell you, but those hinges were so squeaky, and especially in the middle of the night, if you were trying to, you know, sneak out for a midnight snack, you'd definitely get caught. But it didn't take me very long to do this, and my doors sound so much better, and not something out of a horror film. Oh, here you are 
Face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you think and I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smoke is in the bathroom I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention So you were saying, oh no I don't see the logic of things It's quite a lonely world that we're living in Oh baby, you are something special, I'm sure when you're next to me After I get my bathroom picked up and my bedroom, I go and I found this mirror that at Marshall's that I wanted to hang up. Um, and it, I think it fits the space perfectly. It's a good size. And um, if you've seen my bedroom makeover, I took the TV down that was here and I hadn't been able to find something that I wanted to put up in its place until I saw this mirror. So I really like this mirror and I think it, you know, fits the space. And then I go into my kitchen where I am going to hang up a fire blanket in case there's ever a fire on my stove or in the oven. I can pull down the fire blanket and put it out safely. So, um, and that'll be the end of this video. I know this has kind of been all over the place with a lot of random projects, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in any of the products that I've used in this video, I'll have everything linked down below. Thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will see you in my next video. I'm really hoping it's going to be the kitchen declutter because I need to get that done. Alright guys, have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.